A system has three pipes A, B and C. A and B running alone can fill it up in two hours and three hours respectively. While C is a waste pipe. Right? So there are three pipes A, B and C. A alone can do it in two hours. Right? Uh, I mean fill the uh, system in two hours. B alone can fill it up in three hours. And C is a waste pipe. Now how much time will this waste pipe take to empty the system has not been given to us. But waste pipe definitely means an outlet pipe. It, it you know removes the wastewater or something so it's an outlet pipe basically so a and b are inlets and b uh, c is an outlet now if all the three pipes are opened at once 7 by 24 of the system will be filled up in 30 minutes if all the three pipes are opened at once understand all three of them are open which means a and b act like filling the tank and uh, c acts like emptying the tank in that case 7 by 24th of the system so 7 by 24th of the work will be done in 30 minutes 7 by 24th of the work will be done in 30 minutes. Now, if pipe A and B are opened successively, uh, successively for every alternate hours, in how much time would the system get filled? So, if pipe A and B are opened successively for every alternate hours, every alternate hours, that means for one hour pipe A is opened, for the other hour B is open, and then for the third hour A is open, and then for the fourth hour B is open, and this happens till the system is completely filled. So, how much time would the system, in how much time would the system get filled is a question. In how much time would the system get filled is the question. Now the point to be addressed here is when he says pipe A and B are opened successively, is this waste pipe still working or not? I mean that's a question mark, right? The question here is does the waste pipe work throughout the process or no? Yes or no? Now, based on yes or no, the answer would change. You're getting it. If you say no, yes, uh, I mean, if you say yes, the waste pipe works throughout the process, which means it is always open. Then when you say A and B are open uh, alternatively, in the first hour, A and C will work. In the second hour, B and C will work. In the third hour, A and C works again. In the fourth hour, B and C works again, and so on. If you say no, it is not opened always. It is not open throughout the process. Then what happens? After 7 by 24th of the system is filled, only A and B are working together. Right? A and B are working together for alternate hours and they'll take how much time to fill the system is the question. Still one more thing which is not very explicitly mentioned here is do we have to find out the time required to you know fill the complete system or the remaining part of the system because 7 by 24 is done which means 17 by 24 is remaining. So that's what we need to check here. So let's let's try out let's let's assume that it is uh, yes that the base pipe is open throughout the process. So first and foremost, let us find out the capacity of the waste pipe. What is the capacity of the waste pipe? How do we do that? See, to do 7 by 24th of the work, it takes 30 minutes. Yes or no? When you have to do 7 by 24th of the work, it takes 30 minutes. So do the full work, one unit of work, how much time will it take is the question. You're getting it? When 7 by 24th of the work was done, it takes 30 minutes to fill the system, right? to fill 7 by 24th of the system. So if one unit of work is to be done, how much time would it take is the question, is what we are trying to figure out. So that gives us what? The total amount of time required when A, B and C all work together, where A and B are inlet pipes and C is an outlet pipe. Okay. So let's, let's do that calculation first. What happens? Uh, the total time required, right? Let's say this is the total time. Total time required to fill the system when A, B, C all three are working. It is going to be 1 into 30 upon 7 by 24. So that gives you some number. We will not do the simplification right away, right? Uh, let's take it as 30 times 24 upon 7. Like I said, there are some assumptions involved in this one, right? You cannot, uh, I mean, the, the question doesn't very clearly explain whether the waste pipe is opened throughout the process or it, it gets shut at some point, right? So we can say this is the total time required. The total time required to uh, fill the tank right that's one part now why have we calculated this total time just because uh, i mean just so that we can evaluate the capacity of c see we know the capacities of a and b when he says that a can alone fill it in two hours it means capacity of a is one by two when b alone can fill it in three hours the capacity of b is one by three you know the relationship be between capacity and time right capacity is inversely proportional to time if you can do something in two hours your capacity is one by two which means you will do half of the work in one hour of time what, what do you mean by capacity? Capacity is the amount of work that can be done in one hour of time, one unit of time. So if A 
you know, fills it up in two hours, A's capacity is 1 by 2, B fills it up alone in three hours, B's capacity is 1 by 3. But remember, C was also involved in this process. So what is C's capacity is the question. Let's, let's try and evaluate that. I'm, I'm worried that the space will not be sufficient, but let's see. Now, doing the regular process, right, unitary method, A, B and C are working. Remember, A is an inlet pipe, B is an inlet pipe. So we'll be using these as positives. And C is an outlet pipe, C is a waste pipe. It will let the water out of the tank or the system. So its capacity has to be considered with a negative sign. So A's capacity is 1 by 2 plus B's capacity is 1 by 3 minus C's capacity is what we are trying to figure out. The total time required, the total time required to fill this tank is this 30 times 24 by 7, which means the capacity is going to be 7 by 13 to 24. I understand this is calculation intensive, but there's no other way out. Find out C's capacity from this. So 1 by C comes out to be, what is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3? Uh, 5 by 6, right? 6 is LCM. So 5 by 6 minus 7 by 13 to 24. Yeah, you want me to simplify this. But like I said, our assumption is that the third pipe, pipe C is open throughout. Right. If not, then it becomes a very simple case. Right. You just have to consider the A and B working alternatively, which you have discussed in model number seven of time and work. I mean, you just look at this part. This is in line with model seven from your topic of time and work. So that we'll not discuss, but let's just see the working around when the waste pipe is working throughout. So we've got the capacity of C. Of course, further simplification is needed. This is 30 times 24. What is 30? I mean, I've simplified this part. What do we get? LCM is 13 to 24. So 6 goes 120 times here. 5, 24 is 120. 125 is 600. 600 minus 7, 593. 593 by 13 to 24. Well, that's a typical value. I'm not sure if it will lead us anywhere. So C, like I said, looks like either you've copied the question wrong or uh, you know something is missing here Let, let's see so 593 by what did we get in the denominator mm, 30 times 24 you got it lcm is 13 to 24 6 is anyway a part of 13 to 24 so 6 goes 5 times 24 120 times 125 is 600 minus 7 593 so this is the capacity of c so that's one part now what do we have to do he says uh, after 7 by 24 of the work is done a and B are opened successively for every alternate hours. Now what happens, understand? In the first hour, A would work with C, assuming that C is open throughout, right? In the second hour, B comes into picture. A is shut and then B works along with C. In the third hour again, A comes and works along with C. C is anyway working throughout. And this process continues till the remaining part of the tank is fit. Again, like I said, still there's a confusion. If we have to find out the time required to fill the remaining part, of the system or the full system right but anyway now you know this this process has been discussed multiple time i mean what we are going to do now in this last step we have covered through various examples so only this was a additional component here right finding out the total time and from that finding out the capacity of c now you know how much of work can be done by a and c in one hour how much of work can be done by b and c in one hour and so on while i have mentioned a plus c doesn't mean a plus c it is a and c because C is always going to come with a, a negative value, right? This 593 by 13 to 24 is the negative capacity. So what happens? How much of work can A and C do in one hour? See, A can do half of the work minus whatever C can do. 594 by this 13 to 24. This is A and C's capacity. How about B and C? B can do one third of the work in one hour. Positive, right? Plus 1 by 3. Minus whatever C. 593 by 13 to 24. So basically this is what... A and C do in one hour. So their capacity together. And this is what B and C do in one hour. Their capacity together. Again, all this with an assumption that C is working throughout. Okay, some of you mentioned that why don't we convert 30 minutes to hours? Well, yes, that will probably. Okay, hold on. I think we have goofed up. My bad. This half was in terms of hours this one by three was also in terms of hours so we should have actually converted this to hours okay thanks for pointing that out let me quickly correct this sorry about this not a good day we should not be taking up sessions on holiday i'll make it a point let me just clear this up
I mean, it remains the same, just the calculation is what changes. Yeah, that probably is the reason I was wondering why is it giving us such a typical value. But do that quickly now. Units have to be balanced, right? Missed on that basic point. So very quickly, the same process again, I'm not going to explain it. Uh, you know, 30 minutes is half an hour. This is half an hour. So to finish, okay, I look like I have to do the whole part again. Yeah, so 7 by 24th of the job can be done in half an hour. To do the full job, how much time does it take? So it will be like 1 into 1 by 2 upon 7 by 24. Yeah, that make, makes it simple, right? You understand? 7 by 24th of the work was done in half an hour. So to do the full job, 1 unit of work, how much time does it take? So 1 into, these are directly proportional, right? Time and work done are directly proportional. So you can cross multiply. So 1 into 1 by 2 upon 7 by 24. That leaves you with 12 by 7. Yeah, so the total time is equal to 12 by 7. Okay, now this should be quick. Right, this is going to be 12 by 7. Total time required is 12 by 7, which means the total capacity is 7 by 12. Let me clear it up. Yeah, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by C. The total time required is... 12 by sorry your total time required is 12 by 7 which means the total capacity is 7 by 12 remember capacity is the amount of work done in one hour so if you can do the total work in 12 by 7 hours in one hour you would do a reciprocal of this just remember that so 7 by 12 get c's capacity from this so 1 by c is going to be uh, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 is what 6 is lcm 5 times right 5 by 6 minus 7 by 12 and that makes it what 12 is lcm so 10 minus 7 3 by 12 which is 1 by 4 yeah Cool. It's easy now, right? 1 by 2, 1 by 3 and 1 by 4. Now do the whole drama again. A plus C, B plus C. Right? Alternatively. This is like the first R, second R, third R, fourth R and so on. Yeah? So how much of work will get done in the first R? C. A and C are working together. A is an inlet pipe, its capacity is 1 by 2. C is an outlet pipe, the capacity is 1 by 4. So you should take 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4. Right, what happens in this case? B is an inlet pipe, so it will do one third of the work. C being an outlet pipe, it will remove one fourth of the work done. I mean, it will uh, empty the tank, right? One fourth of the tank. And so on. This repeats itself. So 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4, how much is that? 1 by 4. So what A and C do in 1 R is 1 fourth. How about this 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4? 12 is LCM. Uh, 4 times and 3 times. So this gives you 1 by 12. And again, this continues. So what happens in the first R is 1 fourth of the work. Right? And what happens in the second R is 1 twelfth of the work. Again, in the third R, 1 fourth of the work and so on. Now, again, if you just recall this model 7 of time and work, what we do here is try to find out. See, we can say that the amount of work done every 2 hours is constant. Because the same cycle repeats, right? So in 2 hours, how much of work has been finished here? 1 fourth plus 1 by 12. 1 by 4 plus 1 by 12. This is how much? 12 is LCM. So 3 times plus 1 times. 4 by 12 which is 1 third. So in 2 hours, they can do 1 third of the work. Right? In 2 hours, they can do 1 third of the work. So in 4 hours, they will do 2 thirds of the work. In 6 hours, they will finish the work. Right? Now again, the point is, if you, if you read the last part of the question, it says if pipe A and B are open successively for every alternate hours, we have gone with an assumption that C is working throughout and that looks like the looks like the right thing to do. So C is working throughout the process. In how much time would the system get filled? So the question that still remains is are we talking about the remaining part of the system or the full system? Because until this point, 7 by 24th of the job was already done. Only 17 by 24th was left. So options would definitely help. And that is the reason I always say, guys, when you post a question, give us the options. Because if options were there, we would probably avoid doing all these steps, right? Many a times, using options is a far, far better approach than doing the whole conventional method. So make it a point that you give us the options along with the question, right? So that's about it. If the total tank has to be filled, assuming that the total tank has to be filled, they can do one third of the work in two hours. Right? They can do one third of the work. This is the amount of work done and this is the time required. So one third in two hours implies the total work in how many hours? So how many hours will it take to do the total work? Total work is always one unit. Again, cross multiply. You will get the answer as six hours. 
okay so six hours is the answer otherwise find out the time required to do seven 17 by 24 of the job 7 by 24 is done how much time will it take to 17 by 24 so i had made it very clear in the beginning itself there are question marks in this question only sri can clarify that okay i assume all of you have followed this let me quickly jump to the next one